Good day and welcome to the Brocon YouTube channel. My name is Anami. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to filter results in Sumo's model space. As you can see here, I have a basic Sumo model. Before we start, we will need to analyze the model first. So I can go to the Analyze tab and click on Start. Let's have a look at our results. You can see under Displacement, it shows you the entire model. We do not always want to see the results for the whole model at once, as this can become confusing when you are looking at a very large model. For instance, let's say I want to look at each one of my slabs individually. If I go back to my standard workspace and I select my slabs, you can see under the slab properties that they all have different names. In my model, I have named them slab 1 to 4. This I did beforehand to save some time. You can easily rename slabs in their properties palette as shown here. So back in our model space, I can go back to the results and then go to the filter command in the ribbon. Here, I select which object type I want to see. Then I select my filter met method, which is name. The operator I leave as contains. To view slab 1, I can just type 1 because the slab name contains 1. Now you can see in my model space that it is only showing one slab. From here, I can now go back to the filter command and view the rest of my slabs separately. Now let's have a look at my beam results. Here you can see it shows all my beams and columns. For this instance, I would like to group my columns and beams because I do not necessarily want to view each separately, but rather in groups. Thus, for this case, filtering by name would not work. To do this, we can create groups in Sumo. This is done in the standard workspace in the input tables. Under the Groups tab, first I'm going to create my groups as follows. Columns, ground floor, columns, ground floor B, columns, first floor, and columns, steel. Now I can place my columns in their groups. I select them in the model space, and then in the property selection drop down, select columns and then place them in the correct group. I can do this for all my columns. Just to make sure, I can select all my columns and set the display color by group. Now you can see that the color of the columns corresponds to that specified in the groups table. If I change the color of one of my groups in the groups table, it will now also change in the model space. Groups in Sumo work very much the same as layers in AutoCAD. If we now go back to our beam results, we can filter out our results according to groups. Let's say we want to view the actual force of our columns on the first floor. So we go to the filter and then select columns, filter by group and then select our group. Now you can see that it only shows the actual force of our first floor columns. Let's do the same for the steel columns. We can also switch results in the view to, let's say, the X moment or Y moment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel.